All right, so let's head back to our router file here, router class, and let's now that we have the current user's ACLs listed, um, what we're going to do is we are going to check uh, if that array key exists. Okay, so what we're going to do is say for each current users ACLs as this is their access level so we'll just say as level all right um, and then we're going to say if array key exists uh, so inside the level if or if the level exists in ACL Okay, and the array key exists. Uh, controller name, if that exists in the ACL level, then what we're going to do is we'll do another. Uh, if statement here. So if in array, if the action name now, we're going to check the action name. So we're checking if the controller exists and if, if the action name is there. So if action name is in ACL level controller name so if you remember when we printed out the the um, ACL file here, what we're checking is inside of this ACL list does the controller exist and does the action does the um, action name exist there? Okay, so we need to know if that exists. Um, the other thing that we need to check, remember we added those stars. So we're going to go ahead now and also check if if that is in the array. So if the star is in ACL level controller name. Okay. So if all of that happens, and I just put that into two if statements just to kind of make it the controller and then we're dealing with the action in the second one. So I have to get through both of that. Uh, if that happens, then what we're going to do is we're going to say grant, uh, grant access. We're going to set that equal to true. And then we'll just go ahead and break out of that loop because we don't need to continue that. So that checks the controllers. Um, now, the other thing that we need to do is we need to check for denied. Because remember, in our ACL, we have this denied. So we need to override that if it's in there. This is going to be re really similar uh, to our check for access. Um, so what we're going to do here is we'll do another for each. I know this is getting a little complex. Just follow along and then go back and read over the code later. OK, so if current user ACLs for each of those as um, we'll do level again and what we're going to do is um, we're going to say denied is equal to ACL level denied So then we can say if not empty denied and if the array key exists so if the controller name exists in the denied 
array. Okay, and we'll do one more. And if in array, uh, the action name exists and denied. Controller name. If all of that evaluates to true, then we're going to reset grant access to false. And then we'll break out of that loop. Okay, and then the last thing that we have to do is we are going to return grant access. Get rid of this dump and die here. All right, so what should happen now, if we look at this ACL, is I have access to anything in here. So let's try that. Refresh. Uh, got a problem on line 64. Current user ACLs as level. I spelled it wrong. There we go. I had an extra S there. All right, so we're here on the home page. I have access to it. Um, what didn't we have access to as a logged in user? Uh, we don't have access to login or register. So let's try that. Register, login. I don't have access to, uh, access to this page. If I were to go to uh, log out though. Okay, so I found the problem in our route. I guess earlier we must have copied and pasted this. Uh, if you look at we have controller name is equal to controller and then action name we have equal to controller. This is in our route. Um, so that hasn't mattered before because we weren't using the action name. But we actually need to fix that now. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to we're going to do a ternary here. So we're going to say if is set URL zero. Okay, if that's set and URL zero is not equal to a blank string, then what we're going to do is we're going to um, set that equal to URL zero. Else, we're going to set that equal to index. Okay. Now, if I refresh the page, uh, it makes it in there. So let's go down and fix this. We're going to get rid of the dump and die. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and uncomment our other for each for our denied because it's probably going to work now. So we're able to log out. Um, we should be able to. Now we're logged out, so we should be able to go to home. We shouldn't be able to go to register log out and we shouldn't be able to go to any of our tools yep but if we log in um, we'll go ahead and log in real quick then now I should be able to go to my tools should be able to go to any of my tools. Yep, um, I I can't go to log in, so let's test that. Yep, I, but I can go to log out. So our access, uh, our has permission function uh, seems to be working as expected. Um, so yeah, that's, um, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Um, just go ahead and look through what we did in this route now. We have this uh, class and just look through these for each loops and see if you can follow the logic um, for all of this has access thing. Essentially all we're doing is looping through these arrays and we're checking if our current users access levels exist and then we're gonna set those uh, the access to either false if they don't by default we're checking if they have access. If they do, if it exists, then yep, we're going to go ahead and grant access. 
but not so fast. We're going to check for if we override it and denied. And if it's if it is there, then it's going to go ahead and set it to false, and then we're just returning that. So that's all we're going to do there. I hope that makes sense. Uh, keep looking through that if it doesn't. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is start working on our menu. So I hope that's helpful, and have a wonderful day.